Hello everybody, this is Scott, I'm back, and, and as I mentioned before, I was going to be showing you all how to properly set up your Komodo Firewall. Well, as we can see, I'm using Komodo Firewall 6, and I've had it for a couple weeks now, and I'm going to quickly show you what to do. Upon first install, you're going to want to do a quick scan with this thing. It's going to go through, it's going to add all your files to its cache and say whether it's good or not. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to go into the settings and edit the security of it to go to maximum security. Now, if you have a slower computer, you may not want to do this, but if you want to, it won't like. It's never broken a computer because of its slowness. It's just going to. It's going to be a little hectic here, so let's just jump in. Go into your firewall settings and then go here. Now, some of these I don't have on just because of I don't care. But here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go to your general settings, and you're gonna want to customize these. Um, don't show the welcome message. You can show this, this, this. I don't like. You want to turn this off. Uh, and uh, enable password protection is for parental controls, or if malware tries to get on your computer, it's gonna have to go through the password. It's supposed to be more secure, but I've never actually seen it effective. And I am too lazy to actually edit that. And that's about all we have to come over here. Put your updates. I always do daily um, because I don't know when, how long, and it just depends. Daily is probably the best option for you. And configuration. So I've got only the firewall installed. So after that, we're going to go into our security settings and go to the defense plus. Then we're going to go to hips protection. Hips protection. Make sure you enable the hips. HIPS is, as you can see, a host intrusion protection system. So basically, any program that tries to run on your computer and is not verified by their like missed list of over two million plus publishers, it's going to say, "Whoa, what is this?" And it's going to say, "If you know it's safe, it's going to give you pop-ups, and you're going to say, "Yes, I know it's safe." You're going to set a rule that says it's a safe program to run, and then you're going to run it. And rest of these, you can just create a rule for safe applications. For instance, if you want to make a rule that says uh, safe applications in parentheses, games, because not all games are registered as safe, and then you can just quickly do that. You don't need to do the enhanced protection mode. It's kind of a little extreme. You don't want to do this. This this is just excess. This is overkill. Hips rules, I've got quite a few rules. Rule sets, I've just left it with the basic. Protected objects, done. Uh, auto sandbox unknown applications. This you can turn on or you can leave it off. Um, the reason is if you want to auto sandbox them, it's going to go into the sandbox and Komodo is going to see if it's malicious or not. If it's not, Komodo will release it from the sandbox. If it is, it's going to pop up saying uh, analyze from sandbox detect malware detector or something like that. And you have your sandbox. You don't really need to do that. If you want to protect your virtual kiosk, which is basically your shopper, you can go in there. You want to shop bank, then you can do that. I recommend it, but I don't really do a whole lot of banking on my main computer. So for obvious reasons, I don't bother with it. Firewall settings. Go to the advanced. Enable all of these, <laughs> and this will slow your computer down. Maybe. My I'd have actually never really noticed it, and uh, my internet's still extremely fast. And that's about it. You can me don't really mess up the ports, file ratings. If it doesn't know, it can go unrecognized. I've got no unrecognized. I've only ever submit one. And trusted vendors. <gasps> now let me quickly break this down. Um. You want your you want all of these to be in safe mode. Training mode's kind of useless, and don't ever block all. It's just a waste of time. Um, Pop-ups, if you can turn those off. Enable trust connected on unsecured networks only. Enable traffic animation effects. Blah 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 blah. Block fragment fragmented IP address. This is going to be important mostly because when if an IP address, since we all know what a fragment is, a fragment is just pieces. So. I, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna make it simple. If it, if the IP address seems strange to Komodo, it's going to block it unless you say so. Otherwise, saying 
unsec unsecured IP address blocked. Generally, malicious sites use this, and no like legitimate sites go through that. And filter the loopback traffic in case you're trying to be redirect. Do protocol analysis. Analyze it. This is gonna anti. What was I saying? Oh, another thing is you want to create uh, the alert frequency. I do. I don't really have this. I don't care. Do not show pop-up alerts. There is a game mode which I think is great. You just come home and go game mode. All the alerts will be put in the passive, and Komodo will analyze and do everything that it should by itself. And that's about it for getting up your Komodo firewall. So please stay tuned for the next video where I'll be going over the Komo going over another cool feature with Komodo firewall.